Hello everybody, my name is Brandon. Welcome back to Cinefessions where we talk all things media. So I'm in my car, so you know what that means. It is time for another media hunting vlog. I am on a vacation, well, a staycation this week. And so it's Tuesday morning, 10 a.m. I'm outside of Best Buy and it is just opening up. So I'm going to head on in and I'm actually a little bit surprised by how busy Best Buy is at 10 a.m. So we'll see. Today is a good day for physical media. We have Justice League coming out on 4K, uh, the Zack Snyder cut. And then we also have The Thing landing on 4K, which I am super excited about. Uh, there is a Best Buy steelbook that I'm hoping to grab. I, don't, I guess I don't know if it's a Best Buy exclusive steelbook or not, but I, I believe it is because I didn't see it on Amazon. Um, so yeah, and it's not a terrible price at like $26. The uh, slipcover edition is 22, I believe. So not a bad price difference there, which is cool. But yeah, I don't really know what I'm going to do next. I think we're going to hit Best Buy. There's a Barnes and Noble across the uh, the parking lot over here, so I'll probably hit that next. And uh, yeah, we'll go from there and see what the day brings. Maybe I'll hit a little disc replay. Up, I, I don't know. We'll see where this media hunting vlog takes us. No real goals, I guess, this time around. We're just going to see see what happens. So hopefully you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, please give it a like down below. That really does help me out. But with that said, let's not waste any more time. Let's get into Best Buy and get hunting for some media. Um, I was looking for the Justice League. 4K Blu-ray? Or, I'm sorry, uh, text, uh, The Thing 4K. This one, right? Yep. Uh, I'm going to grab the steelbook if you don't mind. Let's grab it. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so I was able to find The Thing steelbook. Fantastic. The only one here, so that is awesome. And then Train to Busan. I found this is on sale for $18, so I'm super tempted because it is an amazing movie. The steelbook looks really nice. It's like 15 bucks for the non-steelbook on Amazon, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but this is what I'm thinking about. We'll see what I end up with. All right, so I'm out of Best Buy and it was a success. I did end up getting the Thing 4K Steelbook, which looks really darn cool. So yeah, I was happy to find this one. Um, there was not a lot of copies there. There was only one. Um, and so that was cool. Um, I did end up passing on the Train to Busan Steelbook because uh, my buddy reminded me when I was texting him about it that I do have it on DVD already. So I'll just wait. I can find the Blu-ray uh, cheaper down the line. I don't need the Steelbook, even though I thought the Steelbook looked pretty cool, but um, the Thing is one of my favorite films of all time. And so this is actually the third edition of this I will now own because I have the Arrow UK edition, the Scream Factory US release, and now I have this uh, 4K edition here. So yeah, very excited to revisit this one. I'll probably watch this one very soon, either today or tomorrow. So yeah, now we, I think it's time. We're going to go to Best Buy. No, I'm sorry. We just left Best Buy. We're going to go to Barnes and Noble, I think, because there is a specific book that I'm looking for. So we'll see if we can uh, find that one and uh, see what happens. Maybe there's some manga there. Who knows? We'll see what we can find. So I guess my new thing in this vlog is setting my phone down and using everything I can as a tripod. But anyway, I was able to find Day Dark 2. Oh, 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 there we go. Day Dark 2, which is one thing I was looking for. So yeah, excited to have volume two. I just showed that I picked up volume one in my last manga haul. So excited to continue on. Like the art on this is fantastic. So yeah, it's been a successful trip to Barnes and Noble, which is always a good thing. So let's get on out of here and see where else we're going. Okay, so we are now outside one of my favorite places in the world, the thrift store. And right next to it is actually an Ollie's. And so, uh, yeah, we're going to see what we can find at the thrift store. That way I can hopefully get some cool things for very cheap. And then we'll see what Ollie has, if they have any new graphic novels at all. So let's get on in there and see what they have. It's the perfect twosome for me. Love both these stores. So let's see what they got inside. So I was able to find 
a good chunk of stuff there, which was pretty awesome. So now I'm gonna just drop these off in my car and then head over to Ollie's and see what, what they have for me. So they have a bunch of cool stuff again today. They have some Deadpool mini bus, which is 25 bucks. They have this one here, which is a big chunky omnibus. That one is $30. Yeah, so I mean, just some really cool things. They have Man Thing, which I picked up last month. Wolverine, Civil War, which is a little more expensive than normal at seven bucks. I don't know if this is like a new Jessica Jones. It doesn't look like the same one I have, but maybe, oh yeah, it is. She's back in her own solo series. So that's cool, but they do have like the original run of it too. This is number two, I believe. Yeah, and then they have four up top here. So a lot of fables, they have a ton of fables, but they're like higher numbers, so I'm not grabbing those. Um, but they do have this like independent Dark Circle comics. So those look pretty interesting for three bucks. So lots of cool stuff. So I'm gonna check out the books as well and see what they have. I did end up picking a couple things up from Ollie's, which I will show, of course, everything at the end of this video here, but uh, excuse the red, I'm like parked against a brick, orange brick, red brick building, I guess it is. Um, and it is the uh, local, my local used bookstore. And so I figured let's make one more stop and see if there's anything here. Chances are I won't be grabbing any anything from here, but I haven't been inside in probably a month, month and a half now, maybe four to six weeks. So I figured they might have something that's interesting. So I'm going to go on in and see what they have. I will make note. I probably won't film inside because it's usually like one older woman and then me. And so it's just going to be awkward. So I probably won't end up filming inside, but uh, we'll see if I can find anything or if it's going to be a bust, which honestly it probably will, but that's all right. It's always fun to look through a used bookstore. <laughs> Alright, so you can see I am back home now. There were actually some really interesting items at my local used bookstore. I think I uh, probably showed you guys some of those because uh, there was like a whole stack of Buffy books, which I thought was really awesome and something I would totally want in my collection. But I don't know, for the price, like something like that, I don't love Buffy necessarily. Like I've only seen uh, pieces of it as I, as my wife has watched it a number of times. And so I've never sat down and watched Buffy the Vampire Slayer from start to finish. So I figured the book I'll just wait on. I don't need them right now. Um, they did have some true crime in there. They had an Anne Rule book that I thought I needed, but turns out I didn't. So I didn't end up finding anything at the bookstore that I ended up buying, but there were some cool things anyway. So I'm glad I went. Um, but now let me show you guys everything I did end up picking up. And I'll start with this one here from Best Buy, my first stop of the day. You guys already know I picked it up because I already showed you, uh, but just a reminder, I guess. The Thing Steelbook, which just looks fantastic. And this one, I cannot wait to watch. This is just one of my all-time favorite movies. So the fact that it now has the 4K treatment, I am all about. So that's that one there. Um, I didn't pick up Justice League, but that's because I already pre-ordered it on Amazon. So I'm just awaiting the Amazon truck to drop it off. So it'll be here sometime today. Uh, but I did, of course, pick that one up on 4K because I love that movie. Um, and then moving over to Barnes & Noble, I only picked up a manga. And I already showed you guys what it was. I grabbed Day Dark by Q... 
Hayashida, I guess is how you would say that, who is the same person who did Doho, <laughs> I did this last time, Doro Hodoro, Doro Hodoro, I believe is how you say that, uh, which is a very popular manga as well. So I grabbed volume one, like I talked about in my most recent manga haul. So I had to grab the second one because it was out. So I grabbed this, which was really cool. I cannot wait to start this series. It looks fantastic. The art on this just looks amazing. Look at that detail. Like that is fantastic. I cannot wait to check this out. I will be doing that very shortly. Um, so that was the manga I picked up, the 4k I picked up, and then I ended up going to the thrift store and I hit up Ollie's. I'm actually going to do Ollie's first. I picked up some things like for my daughter, which I'm not going to talk about here because you guys just don't care about that. Um, but I did find a couple of graphic novels that I wanted to grab. I saw these last time I was there, but I didn't, I don't know why I just didn't grab them last time. This time I figured, you know what? Let's pick them up. This is The Black Hood, Volume 1, and this one is called The Bullet's Kiss. So I actually pointed this out, I think, as I was filming. This is, if I can put it the right way there, Dark Circle Comics, who I have never heard of before. Um, and so, I don't know, this looks really cool. It says on here, it's, Noir fiction fans will surely dig this first sorted arc. So, sounds cool. The art on this looks really good. You can take a look at some of it there. Uh, yeah, so it looks like a noir in graphic novel form. So yeah, super intrigued to see what this one is about. Let's see, I'm going to read what it says back here. A man driven to the brink, blacklisted and left brutally changed, must crawl through the wreckage of his life to defeat a gang of deadly criminals hell-bent on setting the streets of Philadelphia aflame. So it's a modern crime noir tale told by two masters of the game, or of the genre, and this is by these two fellas here, Dwayne Swarzynski and Michael Gatos, I believe, which I don't, I don't recognize the names, but maybe that's just my ignorance. Maybe you guys do. If you do, let me know how you know them. Um, so yeah, Black Hood, you can see the price there. Three bucks, really good deal. I apologize if you can hear the lawnmower because they decided to start mowing now. Um, and then the other one I grabbed was also from the Dark Circle comics. This is called Hangman. And the pull quote on here says, Hangman proves that just about anything goes. And that's from Nerdist. So this one, they say the hangman is nothing more than an urban legend, a spooky story told to scare criminals straight. But those who encounter him, like hitman Mike Mineta, no different. They know that when the hangman comes for you, you're already dead. So this is an ongoing uh, tale of horror, the supernatural, and violence, and why some men may never be redeemed. So this has four issues in it, which is surprising because it's actually feels pretty thick. You can take a look at some of the art there. A very similar style. And this one is different author, different artist. This is Frank Tierra and Felix Ruiz. So different people on both of these. But yeah, they look really cool. They have a very similar aesthetic. And so very intrigued to check out both of these. Again, if you guys know anything about this, if you know anything about Dark Circle Comics, let me know. Because typically when I ask for info on comics, you guys deliver because you guys tend to know a lot more about them than I do. So if you know anything, let me know. I would always appreciate it. So all right, so that was Ollie's. Now let's wrap this up with the thrift store. I did really well at the thrift store. Per usual, I get so lucky at the thrift store. I mean, these are all DVDs, except I have one book that I did find, um, but the rest are DVDs, but I think there's some really interesting finds here. So let's talk about the book first. This is actually a true crime book. This is Death of an Angel, and this one is written by Don Davis, who also wrote uh, Bad Blood, the shocking true story behind the Menendez killings and the Milwaukee murders, which one would guess that's about Dahmer, but I don't know for sure. Um, so I don't know the author, I haven't read any other of their other work yet, but this one looks to be pretty interesting. It is one of those with pictures in the middle. I believe this is about a father who ends up uh, slaying his family. So I wanted to add this one to the collection. I don't often see true crime anymore at the thrift store. So when I find one that looks enga you know, engaging, intriguing like this, I definitely pick it up. So that's the only uh, novel I grabbed in this haul. So now let's talk about some of the DVDs I picked up. So this is probably why most of you are here anyway. So this is cool. This is with Chevy Chase. And uh, was it Chuck pa Chuck Palance? Ch Palance? However you say that. Uh, Jack Palance, excuse me. Um, and then Diane West is in this too. This is Cops and Robertsons. So this looks like a comedy. I don't really know anything about this. It's from 2001? That can't be right. That's probably the year the DVD was released. Because this looks like a younger... Chevy Chase. So I don't know. Maybe it, I don't know. Maybe it is. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so you can see the back there. Let's see. This one is comedy caper about a mild-mannered accountant who dreams of being a super cop 
and those uh, dreams come to life. So yeah, this sounds interesting enough. I figured I'd pick it up. Again, I'm paying 50 cents a pop for these. Actually, like 49 and a half cents because it's two for 99 cents. So super cheap. I'm willing to give something a chance. So Cops and Robertsons. I like Chevy Chase. Why not? And then this one I was really happy to find because I love this movie. This is Road Trip with Tom Green in there, which is just fantastic. Um, I think I found... The other one, did I find Freddy Got Fingered recently? I feel like I did because I talked about this movie. But either way, I now have Road Trip, which I like better than Freddy Got Fingered. I just love this movie. It is hilarious and just absurd and stupid and everything I love you know, about comedies, it, this is. And so very happy that I was able to find Road Trip. Um, and then next up is Monster with Charlize Theron and Christina Ricci. This movie is fantastic. I thought I owned it, but I don't. I must have ended up selling the DVD a long time ago. I don't remember. But this is a really good movie about uh, the true story about Eileen Wuornos, a uh, biopic, basically, based on the true story of Eileen Wuornos, and so uh, who was a serial killer, if you don't know. Uh, but she, uh, Charlize Theron is just amazing in this movie. She completely, like, disappears, and uh, she plays off the role of Eileen exceptionally well. It's so creepy. So very happy to have Monster back in the collection. Uh, this is a random National Lampoon movie, but it's Kettle Call. Uh, I tend to enjoy the National Lampoon film, so I figured I would pick this one up for as cheap as it was. Uh, let's see. Three lonely guys set up a fake casting call to find the best lady for a little real life action. So yeah, just a stupid comedy, as you would expect from National Lampoon. So this one sounds pretty interesting. I'm sure I'll enjoy it. Uh, this next one is a movie I'd always heard about, but I'd never seen it before. It has Jack Black in it, and it's another comedy. This is Orange County. And also, uh, who is the other guy? Colin Hanks. Orange County, it's not just a movie, it's a state of mind. Uh, yeah, so we'll see how this one is. I really like uh, uh, Jack Black, as I said multiple times. I think he's hilarious. So, yeah, very intrigued to check this one out. You can see on the back there. Should be a fun one. I always heard cool things about it, so hopefully I'll enjoy it. Um, and then we have a movie that I actually was thinking about picking this up at Disc Replay, but I ended up putting it back. Um, but this is Young Guns 2. So this is really cool. Completely random, but it's in excellent shape. And so I wanted to pick it up because why not? I will eventually get Young Guns. I've heard great things about that, so I figured I would add Young Guns 2 to the collection. This has Emilio Estevez, Est <laughs> Emilio Estevez, Kiefer Sutherland is in this, Lou Diamond Phillips and Christian Slater. Like, that's a fantastic cast. So I really am intrigued to check this one out. I don't know what year. 1990. Yeah. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I need to see the first one first, obviously. But I will definitely get around to this one at some point. So Young Guns 2 with a really great cast. Okay. This next one is super cool. I'd never heard of this before. But it's like a sci-fi series, I guess. I don't know. Um, so this is Fortress with uh, Christopher Lambert, who frankly, I don't even know who that is, but he's clearly trying to play like the action star, like Jean-Claude Van Damme or uh, Dolph Lundgren or Arnold Schwarzenegger, something like that is what they're going for here. So this says, in the year 2017, one corporation is building a fortress for the ultimate takeover, your mind. So, I mean, this just sounds amazing. The only negative with this is that I think this one is in full screen, which is really disappointing, but I couldn't pass it up. I mean, come on, Fortress. And then Fortress 2 with also starring Christopher uh, Lambert. So this is Fortress 2, 2 re-entry. So, I, I mean, I, this one is definitely widescreen. It's just on the back. Um, but yeah, I couldn't pass them up. Even though this is full screen, I still couldn't pass it up. I'd never heard of these movies before. They sound like they are like a dystopian future sci-fi film uh, mixed with an action movie. So I had to grab them. They sound amazing. I have no idea what year these are. It says 1999, uh, 1992 for Fortress. But 99 is the only year I see on Fortress 2, but I'm guessing that was just when the DVD was released. I'll try to correct myself down here on what year Fortress 2 was released. But yeah, have you guys heard of these? Are they any good? Are they available on Blu-ray? Because I feel like they're not because I'd never seen them before. But yeah, two really interesting finds from the thrift store. So very happy to add Fortress and Fortress 2 to the collection. And then we have a uh, Gene Hackman film directed by uh, Andrew Davis, who also did The Fugitive. This is The Package. Uh, so you have Gene Hackman, but then, of course, you also have, um, uh, what's his name on here? Oh, my gosh, Tommy Lee Jones. I couldn't think of his name. Uh, and so, yeah, this is uh, supposed to be really a good movie. I've heard really good things about over the years. It is a uh, political thriller, I guess. And so, yeah, should be a lot of fun. This is probably one that uh, most people have probably heard about or seen because it's one of those bigger films. But happy to find it uh, so cheap on DVD. 
Uh, and then we have another sci-fi movie, and this one is really cool. I was so happy this was widescreen because I wanted this so badly. It is brand new in, in shrink wrap still. This is Lawnmower Man. So I know that Scream Factory has a uh, Blu-ray collector's edition of this, but I'm not buying that because I don't have, <laughs> I don't think Lawnmower Man is that great. I remember watching parts of this on TV when I was much, much younger and I just thought it was terrible. Uh, and so this, I figure I can give it a shot, watch it from beginning to end, see if it's any good or not, and then go from there. But it's just like so 90s and bonkers. Like I cannot wait to check this out. Uh, like I said, I didn't love what I've seen of it in the past. This is from 97 or no, 92 it looks like. 97 or 92, I don't know. Uh, there's so many dates on the back of these for some reason. But anyway, um, like I said, I didn't like what I saw in the past, but I'm hoping maybe now with like 20 years of difference, maybe I will enjoy it this time around. So very excited to find Lawnmower Man brand new on here. And I don't know this, I don't know if this is like a Kmart sticker or what, there's no... uh name on it. it just says uav scan so i don't know where where it's from but i got it for 50 cents so that's really cool and then last but not least i am so excited for this i think this one does have a blu-ray release if i'm not mistaken but i don't own it and so now i have it in my collection and it is widescreen as well, which I always make sure. Uh, but this is the Punisher, the Punisher, and this is the Dolph Lundgren Punisher. So um, this one is who is this directed by? Mark Goldblatt. So this, uh, of course, is probably I think this was the first Punisher adaptation, and I don't think it was very well received. Um, but I know it's one of those like you just need to see it type of films because I don't like very well. I guess I don't dislike the uh, John Travolta Punisher. I like that one. But uh, for my money, Punisher Warzone is where it's at when it comes to Punisher. I love that movie. It is so great. And so now I have this one in my collection as well. So really excited to check this one out. I think this is a really cool find. The disc looks great. I was so excited. I was like nervous opening it up because I'm like, oh, please, 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 please look good, look good. And I pulled it and I was like, oh, thank goodness. It looks good so I can take it home. But yeah, just some really interesting finds here from the from the thrift store again at 50 cents each that's an amazing deal so yeah that is everything and like i said i do have justice league coming um i think my uh doorbell my ring doorbell just went off so it might be delivered now but i don't know we'll see and so yeah that's uh that's everything i did like i said i did grab justice league it's just not in this video so uh hopefully you guys enjoyed this vlog if you've read any of these if you've seen any of these that i haven't seen let me know down in the comments below what i should prioritize you guys always give me some incredible recommendations so thank you for always leaving those comments down below i really do appreciate it. As always, if you guys did enjoy this video, please give it a like down below. That really does help me out as I'm making my march toward 1000. I am and the final stretch here, the final hundred-ish. So I am so close. Thanks to you guys. So thank you for all of that support. Every like really helps me uh, get more uh, eyes on my video. So if you do like what I'm doing, I really do appreciate you uh, liking it and sharing it, commenting, whatever it is you do. Thank you so much. Even if it's just watching it, thank you for doing that. Like I always say, though, I don't just talk one media type. As you can see, I talk all things media. Books, movies, manga, graphic novels, collectibles. If it's media related, I'm interested in it. And if you are two, you might consider subscribing. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for today. I just want to say thank you all so much for watching, and I want to encourage you to consume some media today. I'll catch you next time.